Tech in 5. Dive into Python with a fun game. Learn in just 5 minutes. Ever found yourself doodling tic-tac-toe on a napkin while waiting for a meal at your favorite diner? Now, let's dive into creating this classic game, using Python and Pygame. Our journey begins with importing Pygame and setting up the basic game environment. As usual, we initialize Pygame using pygame.init, essential to start any Pygame application. Next, let's define some constants to make our code more readable and easier to adjust later. We set up our Pygame screen with set mode method and give our game window a title tic-tac-toe using set caption method. Filling our screen with the background color using screen's fill method gives us a clean slate to start with. We also have a separate tic-tac-toe class, which will handle the game's logic. It initializes a 3x3 three three board, represented as a list of lists, with each cell set to none initially. This class will be crucial in managing the game state, checking for wins, and more, which we'll explore in future sections. Back in our main file, we define a function draw lines to draw these lines on our screen. This function draws two vertical and two horizontal lines, using our line color and line width constants. In our while loop, we continuously check for events like quitting the game. This loop also continuously calls draw lines and updates the display, keeping our game running and responsive. The main goal of our game is to let players make their moves by clicking on the board. First, we need to detect mouse clicks by listening for Pygame's mouse button down events. We then determine which row and column of the grid the player clicked on by checking the X and Y coordinates of the click. This is done by dividing the mouse coordinates by square size. With the clicked row and column, we need to check if the square is available using the available square method of our tic-tac-toe class. This method ensures a player can only mark an empty square. If the square is available, we call mark square on our tic-tac-toe game instance to update our game board with the current player's move. Remember, our board is a 3x3 three three list with each cell initially set to none. A cell will hold the number 1 or 2 representing player 1 or player 2, respectively, after a move. Once a move is made, it's time to visually update the board. We have two functions, draw x and draw o, in the correct grid position. These functions use Pygame's drawing capabilities to render the shapes on the screen. We decide which shape to draw based on the current player attribute of our tic-tac-toe game instance. If the current player is 1, we draw an x. If it's 2, we draw an o. Now, let's talk about how we determine a win in tic-tac-toe. A player wins by marking three squares in a row, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Our tic-tac-toe class has a method named checkWin that does just this. The checkWin method first grabs the current player's mark. Then, it checks each row, column, and the two diagonals. If any row, column, or diagonal has the same mark in all three squares, we have a winner. This method returns true if it finds a winning line, and false otherwise. Now, what about a draw? A draw occurs when the board is full, and there's no winner. The check draw method handles this. It goes through each square on the board. If it finds an empty square, it means the game can still continue, and it returns false. If no empty squares are left, and there's no winner, it returns true. In our main game loop, after a player makes a move, we call check win. If it returns true, we set game over to true and announce that the current player has won. If check draw returns true, it means the game ends in a draw, and we announce that as well. If neither a win nor a draw occurs, the game continues, and we switch to the next player using toggle player. After displaying the game's result, we give players some time to see the outcome. After the wait, we call reset game to clear the board and set game over back to false. We then repaint our screen with the background color and redraw our lines to start fresh. And with that, our tic-tac-toe game is complete. Players can now enjoy endless rounds of this classic game. But wait, there's more! In our next video, we'll venture into adding an AI opponent to our game. Stay tuned for an exciting dive into AI in gaming with Python and Pygame. Stay tuned for more videos on Tekken 5.